Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to write a percentage as a fraction and a decimal. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so if you've been following my video series, you know that if you want to convert something to a percentage, you would actually multiply it by 100. But when we're going the other way from percentage to whether it's a fraction or a decimal, all you have to do is divide by 100. So going away from percentage, divide by 100, going to percentage, you multiply it by 100. So let's have a look at this 40%. All it really means is that it is actually, as a fraction, we would write this as 40 over 100. That's basically it. But of course, in maths, we always want to write the simplified answer. So if you look at 40 and 100, uh, the first thing you kind of need to recognize is that actually they're, they're all even numbers. Um, and also the, the numbers can be divided by 20. So I could actually go divided by 20 and divided by 20 for both top and bottom. And what I would get is I would actually get this as two fifths. So as you can see, the fraction for 40% uh, percent is actually two fifths. But how do we write this as a decimal? Now to do that, we're actually gonna leave it as 40 over 100. Because when we leave it as 40 over 100, we can see that there are two zeros in the denominator, which means the decimal point is moving two spots, which also means this answer here is going to be 0 0.40. Now, when it comes to writing this answer, you don't actually need to write the zero after the four because 0 0.4 is the same thing as saying 0 0.40. And that's pretty much a quick way of how to convert a percentage into um, a decimal. So if we look at 53%, 53% uh, percent means we can write this as 53 over 100. Now, unfortunately, we won't be able to uh, simplify this any further because for starters, 53 is, I'm sure it's a prime number off the top of my head. Um, it's been a bit of a late afternoon. Um, someone can confirm me with for that one. Um, so we can't actually um, simplify this anymore. Now, I'm just going to be cheeky here. I'm going to put 53 over 100 on the calculator. Yeah, there you go. 53 is a prime number. So that means we can't simplify this anymore. Now, that's it as a fraction. So as a decimal, we look at the number of zeros that we have, which we've got two. So we should be able to move the decimal point to two spots. So 53% as a decimal is going to be 0.53. And finally, looking at 8%, so same rules, 8%, we're gonna write this as eight over 100 as a fraction. And I know that we can actually simplify this further because four is a common factor for eight and 100. So I'm gonna divide by four, divide by four. And when I do this, I am gonna end up with two over 25. Now, 8% is two over 25 as a fraction, but as a decimal, I'm still gonna work with eight over 100. And when I do this, I've got two zeros, so two decimal, sorry, not two decimal, I've got to move the decimal two spots, so it's gonna be one and two. But here is the problem. There is actually no number in, you know, to the left of eight. But remember, eight is the same thing as saying zero and eight, but it's just we don't write uh, zero there because it's zero tens. So what really is happening here is then the answer for this eight over 100 as a decimal is going to be 0 0.08. So just a quick recap, anytime you wanna change a percentage to a fraction, you divide by 100. Um, anytime you wanna do percentage as a decimal, you divide by 100. Um, Cause like, I mean like look at 53. If we take 53 over 100 as a fraction, it's 53 over 100. But if I go shift and exe, that it gives me as 0 0.53 as a decimal. Likewise, if I take eight over 100, when I press equals, I get two over 25, which is the simplified fraction. But if I, approx um, if I do shift equals, I end up with 0 0.08. So yeah, just keep that in mind anytime you're converting percentages to fractions or decimals that you need to divide by 100. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.